Today we are on the borderline of Rampton and Mississauga called Pacini's and it's Italian food inside of here look really amazing. I would definitely recommend it. The setup, the family oriented atmosphere, keep it locked and we'll see you inside. The setup inside of Pacini's is mainly the biggest highlight and the dining area. Everything is fashionable, everything is really amazing inside of here. From the food, the way how they prepare the drinks, and the originality, the authenticity, the organicness. All right guys, now it's time for Blue Margarita by the way. We'll start off with some tequila. The main ingredient, which is the blue curacao. Oh uh, no, everything is in, guys. Now we give it a good shake. Oh, that looks so beautiful. And at the end, we add some more rice. We add some beautiful garnish. And this is done, our blue margarita. And that is your blue margarita. Yeah, cheers. So now I will show you one of our most amazing things that we have, and that is a bread bar, by the way, and which is right over there, guys. It's at the end of the main room. And here we go. The amazing thing about this is that we got different kinds of breads, we got different kinds of butters, exactly five kinds of breads and four kinds of spreads we have, and we also got a grill. And other amazing thing about this is that the bread bar is actually free with their every main that you order. So suppose if a person orders any pizza or a pasta, anything that is a main, we have specific tongs for every bread, we have specific tongs for the grill as well, all right? So the person goes and they take the bread out. They put it on the grill, all right? It takes a few minutes for it to toast properly, then after that, they can change the side, then they can choose any one of these spreads, they can use any one of these spreads to butter them up, and they're all good to go. All the butter is enriched inside of the bread already, so when you take a bite of it, it's going to be the amazing experience. Be amazing. Yes, please. So the other thing I will tell you is, by the time your one bread is toasted, you can go and have some others. So we got in the bread, we got five breads exactly. We got focaccia, we got the raisin, we got marble rye, we got multigrain, and Italian crusty. So you see the garlic butter has completely gone into the bread and the flavor is completely in there and it'll be great to enjoy. All right, so this is all about the bread bar guys. And trust me, you guys do not want to miss this. Every time you come to Puccini, you can go to the bread bar anytime you want, before the meal, after the meal, before the desserts, after, before ordering or after ordering, it's all up to you guys. So this is our expo area. This is all the food that comes out, all right? and the food doesn't go cold, so it's always a heat under there. Oh, so, so there's this like, like a hot table. Yeah, definitely. This, on the top of there, you see the grills. They're really hot. I'm not gonna even risk to touch it. All right, they always keep the food warm and really, really hot. So every day we have two different kinds of soup. So one is always minestrone, all right guys? And the other one is a cream soup. It changes from day to day. So today, we got the cream of green veggies. The cream soup changes every day, but the minestrone soup stays every day. Pizza, tomato cheese pizza. Yes, actually, that is actually close to a margarita pizza. That is our pizza pomodoro. And that is a linguine alfredo. That is a duero that we offer. So in the same price for the full pizza, a person can have a small pizza and a side. This is called a lasagna shiitake, by the way. Originally, it's vegetarian. Customer actually preferred having meatballs on that. So this is how it looks. And this is Christine, by the way, one of our most lovely server. Hello, hello. <laughs> it takes about a minute or two I'll check it on it every now and then see the color and when the color is good I'll know it's ready and then I'll start with the sauces and everything it has the pasta looking off over here and then on the other side I guess over here is where you boil them yes yeah, so, so it's already cooked al dente and we put it in the water for another minute just to heat it back up and so the noodles are uh, the proper temperature 
So you can see it's getting a bit pink, but it's a bit gray still. You use garlic butter as yes. well too because that could smell that aroma. From yeah, the garlic. the garlic butter adds flavor. It also makes it so nothing sticks to the pan and it cooks uh, more evenly. Uh, not every dish, a lot of them, about half, I would say, use okay. the garlic butter. The other half use either canola or olive oil, depending on, okay. depending on the recipe. It's, the kitchen's gotta be an inch shorter, and I'll be okay. <laughs> just take out broken shells. That smell just emitting from that pot. Oops, sorry. It's what the kitchen is all about. Is this something you went to school for? Uh, I do have a culinary degree. I got it just before COVID. Yeah. Uh, but I've been in the industry for 10 years. You have quite a bit of experience under your belt. Yep, quite a bit. Uh, mostly self-taught. The culinary school wasn't that long ago, so that's okay. still fresh in my mind. Cooking a passion for you? Um, it wasn't at first. It was more of a necessity. I needed a job as a kid. Grand opening was February of last year, but we opened the doors February 2023. And what is the address for this location? Uh, 298 Dairy Road West. There's one pizza that gets prosciutto, sliced prosciutto on it fresh, and then there's one pasta with it as well. It's a red onion, sausage, red bacon, onion. kale, tomato, green onion, roasted red peppers, and this is um, prosciutto. This is a piatto de share, it's one of our appetizers. Comes with three bruschetta arancini. These are four parm sticks, and this is our parm fries. The vegetables are zucchini and onion. And then you have your side of different sauce. Yes, so this is our pesto aioli, and then this is our bruschetta that Lorenzo showed you previously. I do a bit of everything. I'm the supervisor here, um, so they can throw me anywhere. <laughs> here you go with your salmon. Yeah, yes, that's our salmon. Right we put it once through the oven just to get those nice marks and to cook it off. I've been in the industry for about 10 years and I always say that a customer eats with their eyes before they eat their, their stomach. Yes, so. Yes, I completely agree with you. So if it doesn't look good, they're not going to want to eat it. She's preparing the sweet peppers. And our zucchini on the side. So it goes with all of our grill items. So, well, it also goes with the chicken parm. So our steaks, our Italian feast, which is a great for a date night. It's a steak, uh, lots of vegetables, lots of parm fries, three sausages, uh, shrimp, garlic butter shrimp. It, it's, it's a good one, it's only 80 bucks. It's what we try to accomplish. This is an apple crumble right here, it's one of our desserts. And now here I go over, I am making a pizza. We're doing the prosciutto arugula. This is a summer set. It's just a, a pizza stretcher. So I just like to put it in for a few times because it makes the dough more uh, pliable, more stretchy, easier to work with. Now it doesn't look as luxurious on our end, unfortunately, because they're the ones that get to dress the prosciutto and arugula. So it's just a simple cheese pizza for us in the back. Just a plain based pizza, and then once it gets up there, we dress it with our Puccini spice like we do all pizzas. And then on the other side of Expo, they'll put fresh arugula and fresh uh, sliced prosciutto that we do here in house. This is our traditional. We put it in through once just to get that heat. That can also be done with shrimp in a rose sauce. Unfortunately, it's not an open kitchen, so we can't be as interactive as we well. want to be, but we try the best we can. <laughs> This is one of their signature dessert being decorated, known as the apple crumble with ice cream and caramel. You can't miss this. This is one of the experience you don't wanna miss while visiting the Puccini's from the staff to the kitchen experience and the food. All right guys, so now we're up to our patio and this is gonna be our one of the best things in the summer. As you can see over here, we got some the green wall, we got the plants, we got amazing lights and we got some chairs and this like you guys can just come in and sit wherever you want and just for the patio and for the summer actually we're introducing like two or three more drinks all right and that's just gonna be summer exclusive and they're gonna be very refreshing and very fruity and you can just sit there and enjoy greenery inside of this patio from the red and the gray tables but also you see the flowers actually blooming on this backhand right here but a lovely thing about patio is even as you can see there's tables of fours here but if you want to accommodate for more than four people like eight or ten or stuff like that all you have to do is join some tables and there you go
The sparseness, it really helps with the texture of the bread. The pesto, the tomato butter. Mm. Wow, it's so aromatic. Let's try the pasta. We're going to put a little bit of the noodle in with a little bit of scallops. Seafood, you can't go wrong. Very easy to plate, very easy to cook. It's not overcooked, it's not undercooked, it's just cooked right. You got the shrimp right here. You can see the glossiness of the shrimp, the steam coming off of it. Really nice. It's cooked straight through. Pacini, there's no bad reviews from me. The aromatic flavors along with the seafood, it adds to the texture of the food itself. The raisin bread is really good with the butter because you still get a soft, buoyant texture out of it. And it contrasts the pasta really good. You're getting a whirlwind of different flavors in here. The best experience eating Italian food. But you can already see how much I'm enjoying this food. I'm not even full yet. Really delightful, very fulfilling. I will give it a 10 out of 10. We go with the shrimp and a little bit of the pasta. The sensation, it makes your taste buds run wild. Puccini's really does it. <laughs> Yo, it's really good. I demolish everything on this plate right here. Definitely a delight. And I really enjoy every aspect of this. Everything is on point. I really enjoy the authenticness. Well, guys, that is it for today. We have completed the evening at Pacini's. The aroma is emitting from the food itself, guys. No complaints. It was overall extremely amazing. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll leave the link in the description box. The taste of Italy in Mississauga. And we are out. Oh,